everybody to a new uh, video from the Microsoft Rooster. Today the topic is subtotals. Talk about how to use subtotals and then I'll talk about how to create custom subtotals. So the idea is here, here I just created a simple report by region, call center, and revenue. So the first thing is adding a subtotal, which is very simple in my strategy. You can either click on this icon or go from data and click on subtotals. Simplest thing is just to add a default subtotal, for instance, total. If you go on advance, it'll say, do you want it for all row subtotals? We don't have any columns in our report, everything is row data, so, or do you want to use the page by, if you have a page by, this is the default, all subtotal, all subtotal, page by, by position is your default. Okay, so let's keep that and see what it does. Gives us a total for every attribute level, and then the finally the grand total for everything, okay? Uh, you have a you have control over the display. Do you want it to be at the bottom of each level or at the top of each level? Do you want it to be at the right or left if it's column? And if it's a page page by, do you want it top of each level or bottom of each level? So this is just controlling where your data. So let's do the row top. And now all of a sudden the totals are on top of your data. It's just the, whatever your business needs are, you can control the display. Let's keep them default. And I also want to show you that you have control not only by position, but you can have it across level. So if you have multiple attributes, you can say, I just want it to be by call center, but I don't want it to be by region. And this will just show you by call center totals and not by region. So you don't have a region total. And finally, you can do something by the group by, you can add them. This is similar to the cross level, except that here versus here, you have to select them in a different way. Look at this, a subtotal group by all the levels will not return any subtotal data. There you go. So you can't choose all of them here, it's saying. You have to choose one or if you have four, you can choose up to three. If you want to show grand total or not, etc. And here it's doing multiples, okay? So it can have multiple. Uh, this one is not going to show, remember. So let's add. And this one is a region. Okay. So there you go. It's got the regional totals. The difference is in the group by is that if you noticed here, when we did the group by this, it pushed them all in the bottom. But if we did it across level, like this, it simply will just show them as rows and it will not bundle them up down here. So sometimes you want all your totals in one box and sometimes you want them sprinkled outside. So if you want them in one box, you use the group by, you want them sprinkled, you just use the cross level or the by position. Okay, so you can play with this. This is at the analytical engine, it won't impact your SQL, so feel free to do whatever you want with it. However, here's where things get really fancy. Let's just say you want to add some subtotal that doesn't exist. So you can customize. And I'm going to call it my new subtotal. And it'll show you all the metrics on your report. We only have revenue. And it's say, do you want it to be by total or by something else? Now, this is showing you the list of subtotals available for revenue. It happens to be the same list as available for the default by report, just because we didn't do anything with the revenue. It's a default subtotal. And now I'm going to show you one more step in a minute how to customize this. But sometimes in some of your reports, you don't want one or two. So let's say none subtotal here. Oh, it doesn't like it. So let's just do uh, an average on revenue. And let's do it across level. So we're not doing the subtotal, we're doing an average. So instead of summing, we're averaging. And I've called it my new subtotal, I misspelled it too. Alrighty, so um, now, 
what if I added a different metric? So let me go into design and public metrics sales and let's say something like profit. Let's run this. All right, notice I don't have any here. So what do I need to do? It's because I created a custom. And the custom, I had defined it, here it is. I had only had defined it for revenue, but I haven't defined it for profit yet. So it says none. But I might want to do something like average. Let's see if this works. Let's do it across region. So here I said none for revenue, but some for profit. Because I have multiple metrics now, I can use none for one of them. Okay. So when I add this subtotal, custom subtotal, I said don't show me the average for revenue, but show me the average for profit. Okay. So this is giving you the ability to create custom subtotals at the report level. Okay. Uh, however, when we did this, we were only limited to choosing from none or the default subtotals per metric. What if I wanted to create a custom subtotal just for a metric? And I'm talking about using a different formula other than these default available formulas, okay? Let me show you how to do that. Let's save and close this guy. Let me create a new metric. And sum of revenue. The revenue fact, validate, and use the fact, okay, save and close, I'll call it new revenue, alrighty, this is my new revenue, I want to create a new subtotal for it, so I'm going to create a new, now if you want your subtotals to be reused, you don't want to create them anywhere, let's do it the proper way, you're going to go to your project objects under the subtotals folder let's create it here and here's my subtotal and I'm gonna say this is let's just do uh, something uh, different let's just do average of X minus 5 this might not this not might not make sense what does it mean average x minus 5 really I mean it, you can create any formula you want I just want x is a placeholder it's saying whatever your metric that uses this subtotal will be placed here so if I use revenue the average revenue minus 5 okay also allows you to control the dimensionality at what level do you want it at the regular level or a new level let's just say it is since we use geography, let's just say it is always at the region level. So I'm double click region. So subtotal saying, give me the average revenue minus five at the region level. Now we'll call it my average at region level minus five. Okay. There we go. Now while I'm here, I could do, I could either associate it to a metric, apply to metric, and I can go to the metric that I created. Here it is, and say link it, and he says it was added. Save and close, or alternatively, I could just go to my metric and go to oh, here it is sorry looking at the wrong tab and go to this tab subtotal and simply it would have been here and I can just highlight it and move it over here okay Save and close. I not I didn't make it necessarily the default. I just said it's available. So now I go here and edit my report. 
I'm going to use my new metric. All right, the new revenue metric. And let me modify the subtotals. What do I want to display? At the region and call center. And my new subtotal, and modify it. And notice the new revenue has none because it's added to a custom. It always adds it as none. And notice my new subtotal is right here. Select it. Say use it. And let's do it at region and call center. And see what happens. And let's hope nothing goes wrong. There we go. Notice what happened. I have a new revenue at the call center and at the region. But what is the value? Oops. This is the value at the regional level, at the region mid-Atlantic, at the region northwest, at the region, at the region, at the region. And then this is the total. But let's say I'm going to get a little bit fancy here. And add, let's say we want to add state. Yeah, why not? Let's add the, the country. I only have one country, so it should be simple. Let's see what it does to our subtotals. Alrighty. So we have a country, we have a region, and we need to modify and add the country. See what happens. Notice the region and the country are the same because we only have one country, so the total regions is the same. And here it's still showing us the call center subtotal at the region level. Okay? But let's say I save this and close it and go back and say, well, I don't want it to be at region level, I want it to be at the state level. So what do I do? I can go to my subtotal, modify it, and change the level. and say geography I, rem I want to remove the default level which is the template level I want to remove the region and I want to keep it at the country level see what this does my public object and I test the subtotal alright notice the numbers five. 5-5-5-8-3. So now this subtotal for this metric is always at the USA level, at the country level. Because I set the subtotal for this guy. So the new subtotal for the new revenue is at the state level. Okay? So by that, I have ultimate control over what my subtotal is displaying. Again, even though I select all three, and even though I have at the region level, it says at the region level, but I change the subtotal definition externally to point to the country, and it's no more at the region level, it's at the country level. So this gives me a lot of control over what my subtotals are actually demonstrating and showing. And I know what I just showed you here is a lot of information, so watch the video again, slow it down, Look at the different options that you have and you will see a lot of opportunity here to mess around with your subtotals and create creative uh, things like even hiding some values, showing values, and doing all these kind of different calculations on top of your subtotals. Okay, and thanks again for watching uh, another video from the Mike Treasure Rooster.